what's going on guys welcome back and in this video i'm actually going to show you how to fix this weird issue so here um, i'm trying to use the cloud firestore plugin and in mac os but um, it says that we are we have some sort of error and it requires a mac OS deployment target of 10.12 or later now just to clarify it doesn't actually talking it's not talking about what platform you're running it on uh, you can see i'm actually on mac OS ventura you can see the stage manager here so it's more like uh, which platform we're actually targeting. Now in this case, some sometime it is actually set to uh, a lower version, so we need to change that. And if you actually take a look a bit more cl uh, closely, you can actually see that the solution actually is given right here. So let's go ahead and first, we're gonna first do this one, right? So we're gonna open up Xcode and in our project and in the target, uh, we're gonna have to change it to 10.12 later. Now. Oh, I opened my project here in by the way this is a flutter project so I opened it in, in Xcode and here in, in under target we have runner um, and we're gonna select runner and here in minimum development we're gonna change it to 10.13 right um, just do that and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go to um, our Mac OS slash pod file right so it says right here so we're gonna go to Mac OS and pod file and here we're going to change it to 10.13 right even though it says 10.12 um because we have we have changed the target to 10.13 i'm just doing that over there we're going to go to this project as well right and it says default so just keep it as it is right now once we're done uh hopefully this should work so i'm gonna try to run it one more time And of course, we're not seeing any more errors, so this is a good sign. Let's let's just wait and see if we can uh, complete it. All right, I think yeah, we are off to a good start, and it is actually it has finished building and uh, starting up. Um, I'll just show you that it actually works. Let's wait a few more seconds. And as you can see, we are getting this um, application. It is actually it actually started running, right? And this is uh, just a testing application, so uh, I got no nothing to nothing more to show you. So yeah, that's it. That was just a quick fix, and it looks like we got few warnings here. And I think these are just plugin related issues. Uh, uh, I guess you can look into those. Uh, but anyway, it actually worked, and we got the application back. So that's it for today um hope you enjoyed it if you did hit the thumbs up button if you didn't hit the thumbs down button and let me know how i can improve my quality of the videos and yeah see you in the next video